YouTube. You're on the vlog. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We haven't uploaded in a while. My name is Hong, and on the camera right now is... KG! <laughs> <laughs> We're filming right now on the uh, DJI Osmo Action, so I'm gonna use this as my main vlogging rig. Ever since I got the Canon M50, that's the camera I've been playing around with and making videos with. But this is the original camera, this is the OG. This is the camera that my fiance bought me that started this whole you know, YouTube adventure. We started filming, um, we went to Antigua for our video. I brought the DJI Osmo Action with me. If you guys haven't seen those videos yet, please check it out. I'm gonna link them right up here. So I actually got a new phone. He bought me a new phone, which is the OnePlus 8. It's the regular OnePlus 8, not the Pro. And the Interstellar Glow color, which is really nice. And it has a 90 Hertz fluid display and um, has a about 48 megapixel camera and I really love it. It takes uh, nice pictures. And this is my first OnePlus phone, so I'm still trying to familiarize myself with the features. But so far I like it. I've only really had it for just 24 hours, but I love it already. OnePlus for life. So I've been using OnePlus for a long time now. I was switching back and forth between OnePlus and Pixel. I mean, the amazing thing about OnePlus is you're getting flagship specs for a great price. So it's really competing with the Samsungs of the world, the iPhones, the Google Pixels. Uh, I would say that the camera in previous iterations of the device hasn't been that great, but the one that just came out, OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro, is killing it with the camera. Amazing high refresh rate screen, 90 hertz, amazing, fluid, smooth, no jitters. If you jump up to the Pro, you actually get 120 hertz, so that's even smoother. Uh, and it, I guess it's also a UHD screen. But we're going with the regular OnePlus 8 right now. For the price, I think it's the phone that everyone should get. I don't think it's worth it to get the Pro. Uh, both phones have 5G, so if you're really buying a new device for the 5G, I think you're better off going with the regular OnePlus 8 uh, unless you must have wireless charging and you must have the IP68 uh, water resistant rating then go for the Pro but besides that I think the OnePlus 8 is the phone to get. Krizel loves it. The Interstellar Glow color is amazing. If we get a chance we'll show you what that color looks like uh, reflecting in the sunlight. Basically every picture you take of the phone is never going to be the same picture. Uh, from different angles it's going to appear a different color silver gold pink blue whatever color you name it it's there face unlock this is actually the first phone i ever had that has face unlock so I mean, it's just a blank screen, and then when you tap it, it wakes up, but it's still gonna be locked. But, <gasps> see? This is the fingerprint sensor, which is also super fast, as you can see. The OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro actually hasn't been officially released. It's not going to be released until April 29th. I was able to get one of the launch day orders. Basically within 30 seconds of them opening it up for order on the launch day, which was like last week, sold out within 30 seconds. Uh, I actually had discontinued or canceled my order at first because Prizel wanted a clear case, but they wouldn't add it to the first order. So I canceled it thinking I could reorder it. When I went to cancel it and order it again... He really didn't want to pay for the $10 shipping it was, fee. It was going to be two separate orders. I would pay $10 twice to ship two different orders. So I canceled the first order. When I went back to reorder the the, the bundle, it was all gone. So Griselle was crying and she was really upset that I wasn't able to order the phone for her. But I was persistent. Uh, I stayed on the site and like 30 minutes later, I guess some people may have canceled their order. So they had some new... Um, 
bundle was available, so I quickly reordered it. And here she is with her new phone! Yay! I'm probably going to do an official or full review later when the phone is released to the public. Right now, we're just going to have Chriselle play with the phone. And then uh, we'll have her do a full non-technical review later. And we'll post that for you guys. Mm, that first sip feeling? So <laughs> delicious. It's actually Starbucks pink drink. And it's a caffeinated fruity drink, which I really like. So you can have your caffeine without having that coffee breath. <laughs> No mask, no service. pay my friend a visit we're gonna stop by his house so we just got done talking with our friend from work and you know it's nice especially during this pandemic right now everyone's in isolation you know there's a lot of social distancing uh, it's actually nice to have some human interaction with with people that you care about, your friends, to actually sit down and have a nice cup of coffee. What was that? Was that coffee? Espresso. Nice cup espresso. Of he has espresso. a really nice um, espresso machine. And also just want to make it known that we actually sat across the dining table from each other. Yeah, so we had, uh, you know, we had some distancing between us during these times. We need to express ourselves. We have this creative urges and usually we just get caught up in the rat race going to work coming home from work studying you know whatever it is that you do we kind of lose ourselves in this routine pattern i think for us to have this creative outlet it really breaks up that boringness really right and for me like i still feel like i'm not comfortable in front of the camera so the whole point of doing these these vlogs right now is to just continue to work on you know my camera presence speaking Krizel thinks that I speak a little too fast so I'm, I'm consciously trying to slow down my speech and enunciate and just kind of you know take my time with my words good job I don't even know if you're <laughs> filming me is it still recording yes oh. Thank you, Trump, for the <laughs> filet mignon dinner. We appreciate it. Cheers. No, you're supposed to say thank you, Trump money. Thank you, Trump money, <laughs> for the filet mignon dinner. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> that was the day shot on the DJI Osmo action. I think moving forward, I'm going to shoot all the vlogs, like run and gun vlogs on the DJI Osmo action. Here are reasons why I like this camera. It's small. It's discreet. It's rugged, I can just throw it in my pocket, throw it in a bag, I don't have to worry about it. Whereas with the with the Canon M50, for me, that's an expensive camera. Some people might consider it a budget camera. I spent $600 on it. That's an expensive camera to me. I like the Canon M50 for the interchangeable lenses. I have the 22 pancake lens for that nice bokeh effect with the shallow depth of field. Uh, you can put on like an 11 to 22 for that nice wide angle. Uh, for vlogging, you know, but with the DJI Osmo Action, it already comes with this wide angle. For me, I think it's the perfect vlogging camera. Some downsides of this camera, sucks in low light. The picture quality will completely fall apart in low light. So the solution, just don't shoot in dark situations. With the audio adapter, I can throw on an external mic. Right now I'm using the Mobile VXR10, perfect for capturing audio. 
Probably the next video, we'll just do the DJI Osmo action alone without any external mic, and we'll see how the audio sounds on that. But that's the video for today. Shot completely on the DJI Osmo action. Now I'm just going to plug it in, recharge it, USB-C, charge my laptop with USB-C, I charge my cell phone with USB-C, and now I can charge my camera with USB-C. No need to recharge any batteries, no need to swap out any batteries. Honestly, it's a perfect vlogging camera. That's it for today. You want to send them off?